KKZ and HBB have made a very very cheap collaboration I am so hello and welcome to after sound review and this is my review for KKZ HBB I am that costs only around $20 and it's using single dynamic driver let's see can they compete with nowadays hype good I am's because there are apparently there are a lot of $20 I am that sounds good today so just like usual i will break down this review from the build fit frequency response sound and comparison build quality wise simply kz or cca ish just like usual plastic body and plastic faceplate but this time on the right faceplate you could see the hbb uh, logo here also with that thunder background also on the left side you get this key kz logo Overall, definitely feels like another KZ or CCA kind of IM. And the cable, again, it's also using QDC Type-C dual pin. I also find the ergonomics to be quite good. Just like your typical KKZ or KZ or CCA, it fits just like the CCA or KZ at this price point. I feel no sharp edges or whatsoever and the cable itself feels quite good and not really microphonic. Now let's take a look at the frequency response here that it definitely shows this IM has elevation around the mid base to sub base area and then adequate pin again around 3k and after that the treble itself is quite extended to the upper treble but it's a little bit subdued compared to the base frequency and that's exactly what I hear from this IM. This is a very fun IM that sounds really really safe for a lot of genre. So, the main thing I realized about this IM is definitely about that bass. It's all about that bass that is punchy and very big and yeah, it's just enormous in terms of quantity. But it's a really slamming bass that goes really deep and that's exactly what I hear from this IM. And after that, the mid-range and tribal area are very very safe for a lot of genre. Let me explain a bit about that base first. Now, the base area, it is simply the first thing that you might hear about this IM. Because it's a star, it's the main elevation around the frequency range. You hear a lot of pop, you hear a lot of EDMs. It will go definitely a pop too because of that bassy uh, signature from this IM. You hear a lot of punch, you hear a lot of depth and a lot of slamming for a lot of type of music but my main problem here is sometimes about the sheer quantity of the bass itself it is definitely almost for a bass head level and please take note i'm here not a really bass head for me sometimes the bass quantity is just a little bit too much it's just in terms of quantity and a little bit too slow that it could be perceived as kind of bloated in some songs it could feels a little bit too much and boomy so it gives this kind of uh, color it gives this kind of uh, tonality signature it, it's kind of dark for some songs when the songs gets really heavy in the bass you literally only focus on the bass and everything else feels kind of covered but for a good quality recording for me I don't really have any problem with that but just for a note here, because the mid and treble is really safe and the bass is big, sometimes when I'm using this IM, because I don't really, I'm not really, really bass head uh, kind of audiophile, sometimes I don't really uh, seal them completely into my ears. Therefore, I could get still a good sub bass presence, but more airy mid range and treble. Now, mid range is very very safe here i would say that if you compare it with some other ims that is uh, more hype first before this kkz hbb like the moon drop true or even solo zero or the cra plus or even the Scar Venus, for me this kkz hbb is the safest of them all sometimes i could hear some shoutiness from the chew or maybe some a little bit of sibilant for the sound of zero in bad recorded music but for this kkz hbb it's totally safe it's the thickest sounding from the wall 
uh, personally I find that the female vocal could use a little bit of more forwardness so it's a little bit too thick for me especially for female vocal but on the other side it's a very very safe smooth vocal so I could uh, hear a lot of music through this I am and still sounds good and I don't hear any pickiness that will annoy me I know that the treble isn't the main star of this I am but I will still somehow praise it because it could reach good high notes at least I even though this is a bass heavy kind of I am but in terms of sparkle in terms of trouble extension in airiness I could still hear that even though it's not the main star it's not the main elevation for this for the, the whole frequency the main elevation is still the bass but the trouble I find it not too dark and very acceptable and again safe it still goes quite high but it's just the positioning of the trouble itself it's just simply behind that bass but for me simply uh, hearing cymbals or hearing some metal percussions I still could hear them well in this IM and it's not metallic and it's not too dark either it just goes a little bit uh, maybe covered with the bass when the music is really bassy but other than that for me it's a very very safe and well-tuned treble area now going to the technical part unfortunately uh, for me I still perceive that this IM is still okay it's not maybe as clear as the Sol Note Zero or the or the Moondrop 2 at this price point for me but it is more fun so technical wise I wouldn't say that it's the best especially because of that uh, very fun sound signature so yeah, don't you don't really hear a lot of clarity or separation so the main thing that is good about this time is mostly about that tonality it is a well-tuned bass head I am at this price point and let me say to you even though two sounds clearer for me I personally enjoy this KKZ HPB more than the uh, Moondrop 2 but that's just my preference now there are a lot of IMs at this price point I'm just I'm just gonna be quick about it compared to the Moondrop 2 it is simply the two sounds much thinner the vocal is clearer but more shouty at least for my tolerance level 2 is a little bit too shouty for me but it's definitely clearer in the vocal area and also the treble is more sparkle uh, it's more sparkling and the bass is more sub bass uh, focused but it's much more thinner sounding compared to the Ski KZ HPB it's much more fun it's much more uh, compatible with nowadays pop music for me and then compare it with the Salno Zero I still find that Salno Zero is the more balanced one in terms of overall tonality but it's the Salno Zero it's not as dynamic it's not as fun to listen compared to the Kikazi HBB even though personally I feel I still find that the Salno Zero is more ideal for my vocal uh, preference but sometimes I could hear a little bit of a uh, dryness and also a little bit of almost sibilance kind of feeling when I'm hearing some bad recording but compared to that KKZ HBB is more fun and more safer for a lot of genre and compared to the CCA CRA plus which is one of my favorite I am at this price point uh, actually for me the CCA CRA plus is more v-shaped it's more fun in terms of treble especially the treble extension and treble uh, simply treble quantity the CCACR plus is more noticeable and also the bass is a little bit tighter but the vocal is not as thick as the KKZ HBB personally for a bass heavy music because I also can could say that I'm a little bit of treble head more than bass head I personally enjoy the CCA CRA plus a little bit more simply because of more quantity in terms of treble ele elevation because I hear a lot of uh, classical music and also orchestra personally I feel that the CCA CR plus is more suited for those kind of genre but for uh, more pop music or EDMs I still find that, that uh, a lot of people will definitely choose the Kikazi HBB and compared to the score finesse I, I'm not really sure how to say score 
The Score Venus is also a base heavy kind of iron but it's noticeably much more sharper in the upper mid range to treble area that I personally feel that it's a little bit too much even though I could hear better separation and better technical level from the Score Venus but the the elevation from the upper mid range to treble area for me that in the Score Venus is a little bit too much and could be uh could be too offensive at least for me. So for me, Kiki AZ HBB is a very good IM for a lot of people that want to try this hobby because it's very cheap, it's bassy, but it's a well-tuned bass kind of IM. The mid-range and treble is very safe. That's all I could say about this IM. It's not my personal favorite, but I could recommend it to a lot of people. So I, I think that's all I could say about this IM. My final score for the tonality of this IM is here and this is my final score for the technicality and this is the end of the final score. And just like usual, my rank could be changed and will be changed uh, because of the technology advancement or simply change in the benchmark. If you are interested in seeing my rank list, you could see down below in the description. I think that's all I could say. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye bye.